What's up everybody, in today's video I'd like to discuss something that I think it's extremely important for everybody to enjoy a life of success, abundance and wealth. The other day I was speaking with a friend and we were talking about something that a lot of people fall, fall into, a trap by society that say by the professional marketplace and, and by the government and, and, and pensions and all that. And I wanted to create this video in order to bring my point of view and hopefully give you an insight so that you can take action in some things and not be a slave of the system but the master of your own life. I'm going to talk only about two things, two points, and I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. The first point is that what I think it's extremely important to always remember no matter which job you have is that the company you're currently working for does not care about your personal success, it does not care about your professional success, and it does not care about your financial success. Your company only cares about their success, their income, and their growth. That is why it is always so difficult to increase an income and salary in the company that you are. And most of the times it is that increasement of payment when, happen, when it happens is almost symbolic. It's only a few hundred bucks, uh, rarely $500 or $1,000 and almost never, never, never it multiplies by two, three, four, five or 10 times. Something that can happen if you build your own company. When you build your own company, you have the chance and the ability to multiply your income by two, three, four, five times, ten times. And maybe if you're very, very, very successful, you can do it even more than that. So this is the key point. Always remember that your company does not really care about your success your professional growth and your ascension in position in the company and in your financial success. And only, it is only interested in what you can do for them so that they, their success is increased, so that their profits uh, are maintained and exceeded. Once you are not able to do that or once they find another person who is able to do it better or once their revenue is lower and they cannot sustain paying you uh, your salary, they will drop you like a hot potato. Why? Because they do. Because their main interest, number one interest, is their success, their profit, not yours. So don't make the mistake of giving your professional life and your life to the company you're currently working for. What to do instead? Create your own business in your free time. Don't rely on one source of income, but create your own business in your free time so that you have more than one source of income and most importantly, you have something that belongs to you that is 100% in your power. Your company is owned by you. Your job when you're hired through somebody else and you, when you're working for a company, you don't own that job. When you have a company, you own that company and therefore it is 100% within your control. And the second point is that I see there's a lot of people, good citizens, who pay their taxes during the whole adult life and then when they reach the, uh, the, um, their late years, they expect their government to pay back um, their pension, what, they're suppo what they supposedly deserve, right? Because they've been paying during their whole life and now they're retired, so they should be getting that pension and live off of that. And what happens in a lot, a lot, a lot of countries is that that pension always is subpar. And in many, many, many places, it does not even cover basic needs. Again, 
I'm going to talk about the government in the same way that I talk about the company you're currently working for. The government doesn't really want to screw you, but the government is interested not in you living a life of abundance. The government is interested in paying as less pension as they possibly can to their citizens because the government also behaves like a company it has a lot of revenue it has a lot of income and they want to use that money towards the things that they think it is best so therefore it is a terrible 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 idea to reach your old age and expect that you're going to live more or less decently with the income that you receive from your pension what to do instead again we're going back to the same advice in your free time when you create your own business you're building a huge asset when maybe with time you get good at it and you create even more than one business so you have more assets and the cash flow that your business or your businesses give you you use that cash flow to invest in real estate so you increase your assets those are assets that will give you a monthly income consistently over your whole life so once you reach your old age you will have your business or your businesses and your properties or your property or a couple of properties whatever if you can invest in as much as properties as possible even better but when you reach your old age you will not rely on your government and on your company which are two entities that are not hugely invested in your success and in your in your abundance who is hugely invested in your success and in your abundance only one person you you are the only person who is truly interested in that so be the person who is in control of your destiny by using your free time to create a business and investing the cash flow in property so that you live a life of abundance power and great success see you in the next video